great way to teach your little ones the mathematical concept of capacity. Very capacity. good. Capacity. A safe and fun and yeah. fairly clean way to do this is by using water. So what do we have in here, guys? Um, water? Yeah, and cups. cups. Cups, and they're different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a big jug. We've got some cups, different sizes. So what first we're going to do is we're going to fill this one. It's called filling to the brim. Let me show you what that looks like. Do you guys see what it looks like? Filling it to the top. To the very top, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That are brims. To the brim, exactly. Now, I'm going to show you what happens next. Our cup's filled to the brim. Now, Elizabeth, would you please pour this water into this container? Mm -hmm. All right. It didn't fill to the brim. It didn't? No. All right. And why not? That because we lost some water. We did. And does this cup have a bigger capacity or a smaller capacity bigger. than a bigger capacity? Very good. Now, would you please fill this cup to the brim? But there's gum and a quarter in there. <laughs> you put gum and a quarter in our in our jug? Eh, it's gonna be okay. It'll <laughs> still work. Alright, nope, don't give it to the baby. Oopsie. That was a mistake. Alright, we're good. Check it out. You filled out this one to the brim, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So take our first cup now, the one we originally started with. Oh, my sweet. And we pour it into this one. Um, what's happening? It's feeling more to the brim. Yeah, did it feel so to the brim that it all came out? Mm -hmm. That's called overflowing. Yep. Right, because this capacity filled to the brim was less than or greater than this one? Greater. Greater. So when I poured it all in there, it just kept overflowing. And that is a lesson on capacity. Mom? Yeah.